this is it for me. And for once, I've figured out something I might be a little bit good at, and if I just invest a little bit more time and skill to actually plant my flag in this ground, who knows what may happen in a year, two years, three, and I kept thinking that way. And I said, you know, boom, I look up, we made 100,000 in eight months. Boom, I look up, we made 250,000 in 14 months. Boom, we look up, we made 17,000. In 17 months, we made half a million. Boom, I look up, 37 months, we made our first cash flow. And we haven't looked back after 2017, 2018, anything less than a cash flow million since then. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jeter. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. So what keeps the river up? Number one. What keeps people broke? Number one, high emotion, no follow-up. How many guys are excited about coming on board for your very first time? Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about PHP. Woo, PHP Dallas, boom. <laughs> and then next week, where they at? Where'd they go? Oh, they, uh, they had an emergency come up. How, how many guys, have, uh, like team members that always have an emergency come up? Uh -huh. Like they're like a like they're emergency magnet, and, and by the way, sadly people have you know been un unreal that people have been passing away, but at the same time too as well, how long how long um, how often do you have to have a funeral in your family before it starts becoming an excuse? Yeah, my cousin died in Maine. Did you go? No, I was at home praying. Come on, bro, you were looking for an excuse to quit. You're looking for an excuse to see, to be the same way you were in the last year instead of becoming a new person this year. So you're excited, high, high energy, high emotion. I want to I make time for myself. I deserve, my family deserves, that, 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 that. And you realize, it's just not PHP, it's not the insurance industry, that any law of success means you have to work. Right. Guys, put, for those of you that read the Bible, did God work? Yes. How many days in a row did he work? Six days. Six days. And on the seventh day, he looked back and said, this is good. And let me take a break. By the way, when he created Adam, he said, hey, Adam, dog, listen, man, the refrigerator's full. <laughs> Everything you want is in here, food, animals. Listen, even the sun has to pay attention to you. If it's too hot, just tell the sun to, to calm down, right? But even Adam, he put to what? He put to work. To the land, farm, name the animals, birds, fish. He named everything. And then he put it to sleep because he says it's not good for man to be alone. So even Adam worked. There's, there's this narrative in America that says, well, I'm just going to go buy this NFT. I'm just going to buy this crypto. I'm going to buy this investment. I'm going to buy this real estate. I'm going to buy this forex. I'm going to buy this stock and not do anything, and I'll be an overnight millionaire. I just want to let you guys know those stories are very rare. And it's very prominent to you on social media because these guys are marketing to you. They're, they're pushing this lifestyle up to you. And what, what do you really see? The reason why we pick certain speakers, the reason why we interview certain people, because we realize after having a conversation with them, before we do the interview, we realize that they have a real business. Why do you think PBD doesn't earn, interview certain people, even though they're influencers? Because you ask them a couple questions, they realize they're not really who they say they are. Mm -hmm. One time we had a speaker, he goes on there. If I say to you, you guys know who he is. Wow, the whole life, oh my God, oh! Best-selling New York Times, best-selling book, Wall Street best-selling book, what? So, here's a question. Here's a question PBD asks. So, interesting. Interesting. So, how'd you make your money? Well, I mean, how'd you make your money? Was it selling books? Was it selling consulting? Well, how'd you make your money? Come to find out, he sold his money, speaking engagements, and selling books. Not actually doing the things that was in his book. Wow. So, a lot of people come across your way. Hey, do this, do that. Great. Have you done it? Have you done it? I can't tell you how many times people come to me, I'm gonna be your social media influencer uh, agency. I'm gonna be your social media agency. Great, awesome. What do you wanna to do to grow my Instagram by 100,000 subs here, or 100,000 followers and 100,000 subs on, on YouTube? I can do that for you, I can do it, awesome. Well, what does it cost? Well, it's 5,000 a month for me, another five, five to $10,000 in advertising. Okay, I got the budget for it. Give me some examples of who you've done that for before we sign this agreement. Well, I mean, I've never done it. <laughs> Ivan, how many times have you seen this, right? You've seen this in my office. Number two, if you want to make more money in 2022, make sure you follow a proven blueprint and system. Okay, number three, if you want to make more money in 2022, don't be dependent on active income. What's active income? Job income, uh, DoorDash income, Uber income. Because the moment you turn off those signals, the more you clock and clock out, guess what happens? You don't make income. So if you want to make more money in 2022, you have to have passive income. So if you ask somebody, what's your, what's your game plan in 2022 to have passive 
income. So therefore, it starts meeting and exceeding your active income because that's how rich people make their money. Uh, number four, don't diversify your time and money too soon. People ask me all the time, should I get involved in real estate? Should I get involved in property and casualties? Should, should I get a Series 65 Investment Advisors license? How many times you come across somebody on social media, I do taxes, I do insurance, I do real estate, I do credit repair, I do a Forex, I do blah, 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 blah. Oh, and by the way, too, I do, I do dog walking on the side. Like, well, what, what are you trying to do? Well, I'm a one-stop shop. Michael Jordan said something very powerful on the Last Dance, Last Dance documentary. How many guys watched that? Okay. So Michael Jordan Corporation paid him last year $93 million in one year, which is more money than he made in his entire 14-year playing career. Why? Because of equity ownership of Jordan Corporation. Okay, which should lead you to something, right? I should have equity ownership. Okay, the, the other portion of this, the other portion is this. How would he have gotten the endorsement to have Nike endorse him if he was a scrub player? <laughs> well, you think Nike wants to sign him? No. By the way, do you know what Nike signed him for? You, you, you know what they, they paid him? No. So what, 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 was, uh, what, was, uh, what was Michael Jordan's salary his first year in the league, 1984? Yeah, it was like, like $500,000, man. 500 grand. So, so, so uh, 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 Nike paid him two mil. We'll see if you can sell 20,000 pairs of shoes. They sold 2 million pairs of shoes. So like, I think we need to resign this guy because what was his greatest endorsement? Why did everybody want to wear his shoes? Why? Because I want to be like Mike, because he was winning. Okay, so if you want to make more money in 2022, don't diversify your time too soon. Okay, number five, you'll never get, get ahead in 22 if you keep over spending. So if you, if you don't have the right budget and you're overspending, guess what happens to your multi-million dollar dreams? You never capitalize. So when the time comes up, hey, we're opening up an office. Who wants to take an office? You're like, yeah, I want an office. Where's your first, first month and last month and where's your, where's your security? About? I don't have it because you overspent. What's the opposite of overspending? Underperforming. So if you're underperforming because you don't have enough to make, to pay your bills, to spend, that's, the, that's another problem of, of that too as well. So, you have to look at your expenses, your personal expenses, your business expenses, child care expenses, cell phone bill. I just, got a, I just got an alert that Chino got the new iPhone 13. Where's mine? <laughs> right? But we're in budget, though. I just haven't had time to go to the store. So all these things that you want. By the way, is the iPhone 13 tax deductible? Yep. Of course, because it's used for business. business. She bought it under the corporation's name. Okay. So all your expenses should be paid for by whose pen? Override or by your personal pen? Because what happens if you lean on your business too soon? Yeah. Hey team, I need you to produce, man, because I got to pay my mortgage. <laughs> hey team, I need you to produce, man, because I need to get you guys as trophies for a convention here in February. Hey guys, I need you to promote because you know, I'm behind on my car payments for two months. Are you working for a position of strength or are you operating for a position of weakness? Why do you think we got that office over there? Because we had cash. Okay, when we moved here to Dallas, we, we got that uh, Class A office space right away because we had cash. Number six, <clears throat> what keeps people broke in 22 is they underestimate emergencies. Will emergencies ever leave you in your entire life? No. Life is all about emergencies. Give me some of the emergencies, give me some of the emergencies that you think comes up. Car, what else? Health, what else? Death, what else? Okay, accident, medical. Court. <laughs> Court. Okay, accidents. What else? Natural disaster. Nat how, you, think, you think people in Kentucky, like, when, when, the, when is this, right? Hor uh, uh, horrific, right? Natural disaster, the hand, hand of God, right? right? All these things will come up. The question for you is, by the way, don't you sell for people to anticipate emergencies? Yes. Isn't that the product that you sell? Yeah. So that's what I love about this business, because wealth building is all about anticipation. If you want to run a business that doesn't stop because you have to stop, then you have to manage and expect emergency to come up. An emergency cannot set you back. I remember I, I saved my first $500. You guys remember saving your first $500 in a savings account, how good you felt? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm an adult. I have, I have leftover savings. And then one flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. it. Took me six months to say that. <laughs> What's the point? Let me get a damn credit card. Let me go, let me go back to Firestone and apply for that credit card at Firestone, right? 
<laughs> these things. So don't, don't underestimate emergencies. By the way, does it have to be one big emergency? No. Could be little small emergencies, right? Boom, 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 add up. Okay? So here, don't underestimate your emergencies. Anticipate them. For those of you that had kids, you know at BOMs, you're going to have kids' problems. You know, before BOMs, your babysitter's going to call off. That's why you need two, three babysitters waiting in the wings. Right? So whatever comes up, you have to anticipate. No, another one, addictions. Woo! What am I talking about addictions? Every, by the way, everybody here has got an addiction somehow, some way. Some of you guys are, are expressive about it. Some of you guys are behind the closet about it. But everybody here has some form of addiction. So how do you, how do you, how do you help yourself through these addictions? You just got to channel it differently. I, by the way, I, you put me behind a video game, I'll not sleep for two days. <laughs> Call a freaking duty my ass, right? Oh, oh. Put, put me in an NFL game with John Madden, three days I'll stay awake. You know why? Because I'm not falling asleep until I beat the damn game. And then the next season starts. And then the next mission starts. I'm, it's like one time she's like, what are you, are you, are you still up? <laughs> Babe, mission six. Mission six. I got this. <laughs> so okay, <laughs> she starts having a flashback, right? So, so we, so guys, we, ladies, you have your own addictions. Guys, I definitely know our addictions. Right, so you got to be careful where you put your eyes, your heart, your mind, right, your spirit, and make sure you're guided to something. So, I just, re, I just redirected my addiction. I, I just redirect my addiction. I, so, I, I put it to, to in, in Jojo's room, Jojo's uh, play area. It's not in the main uh, area where it's very comfortable for me. But it's in his area, and I don't go to his area. Okay, what are, what are some of these? Cause these actually go ahead in emergencies and addictions. I call it, my, I call it the, uh, the four Gs, okay? You guys got to be careful about gambling, okay? Why gambling? Gambling touches a part of your human spirit that says, I can get something for nothing. Okay, that's, that's why I don't gamble, because it, it violates a value and principle of success. <clears throat> Greed, obviously, for, for obvious reasons. Gluttony. Having too much of one thing. Is it good to have good things? Sure, but too much of a good thing is gluttonous, okay? Um, <clears throat> girls, guys, you gotta, actually, it's 2021, right? So guys, watch out for your girls or guys. Girls, other guys or girls. I have to be, in, I mean, I, mean I, I have to be, it's, it's the truth, right? Ba a bad relationship will get you all twisted. I mean, you guys remember a, a breakup? And how you felt after that breakup? And then, then you felt sorry for whoever you hooked up next to because they were the rebound relationship? <laughs> you married them? <laughs> right? So, but you gotta watch, you, you gotta watch. I'm just gonna leave that alone. So everyone's just <laughs> Let me, go to the, let me go to the next point, okay? All right, all, right, all good, all good, okay. Um, so be careful of these addictions. Otherwise, you can stay broke in 2022. All right, another one, procrastination. Procrastination. If there's a, if there's a, if there's a country you don't want to be a citizen of, is being a citizen of procrast. <laughs> the nation of procrast. You don't want a passport to procrastination. Why? Here's, here's, here's why you procrastinate. Because you underestimate the time, energy, and the urgency necessary to get to your goal. You, if you're going to underestimate anything with procrastination, some people say, well, you know, it's, they said the 15th, right? Yeah, 15th. And the 15th, we're right. And the 15th, we're right. It's because we procrastinated. We should have gotten off to have a quicker start this month. But let's not procrastinate. Let's not forget the other 14 days in the beginning of the month or the rest of the 30 days if the 31st, the 31st day comes around. Okay, next one. Want to stay broke? Too much TV. Too much unnecessary time on social media. What happens when, by the way, what would you rather do? Would you rather, if you were to study a subject, would you rather watch a video or read the book? Honestly. Video. Most people would rather watch the video. It's faster. But where do you learn more from, though? Reading. Reading the book. You're highlighting the chapters. Like, even though you may watch the video, may hear it auditory, but unless you actually read it, what happens when you, when you actually read? You engage the brain, and the brain starts growing synapses. The synapses go into other parts of the gray areas of your brain. It creates new light and life inside your brain. You're engaging more of your brain when you read. When I was studying for my licenses, I, I, I'd read the manual and I'd actually write it down. Read the manual, write it down. Blah, 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 and I started connecting the answer to the question even though I didn't understand the subject. But by the time I took the, the, the test, I was like, oh, there's the answer. I'm looking for these answers. There's a the question. I'm looking for these answers. There it is. 
I didn't understand life insurance yet, but I learned how to memorize. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to study, but that's why, the way I passed the test. Because I read and I wrote versus just watching the online video and the tutorials, okay? So that's, uh, that's another thing. If you, want, if, if you want to really unpack 2022 and have financial su success in 2020, you have to write down your business plan. And I'll give you some building blocks in which to write your business plan here in a second. Uh, number 10, last but not least, you're unaligned with a mentor because you're trying to do it yourself and trying to, trying to recreate the system. You're trying to do it yourself your way. Here's what I feel about this way. Listen, I'm, I don't come from nothing. I don't come from a rich family. I don't come with a trust fund. I, don't come, I started my life with a 380 credit score, <laughs> if you can get that low. Nobody gave me a shot in life. Everybody thought I was too tall, too skinny. The Filipinos thought I wasn't Filipino enough. <laughs> I was always running around my neighborhood. I never had any real friends in my neighborhood because I was the only Filipino kid in a Latino, black, Italian neighborhood in, in Chicago, Cicero. My last name is Sapala. The Italians thought I was a dark Italian. You must be mixed. You must be mixed with us. Go give me a sandwich, Sapala. <laughs> right? And I run across the street. The Puerto Ricans couldn't figure out whether I was Latino or black. I listen, bro, I'm Filipino. What the hell is that? <laughs> so my whole entire life, I've been running. And once I finally found something, now some of you guys may have other, other, other options. I totally get it. And this is not for you. But for some of you that may be like me, that doesn't have any other options, as a single parent, three kids, I couldn't work a regular job. I wanted more time for myself. I wanted more time for my kids. I wanted my kids to live here, not there. I want to live on this side of the tracks, not the bad side of the tracks, where my kids have to duck and get in the, in the car. This is it for me. And for once, I've figured out something I might be a little bit good at, and if I just invest a little bit more time and skill to actually plant my flag in this ground, who knows what may happen in a year, in two years, three, and I kept thinking that way. And you know, boom, I look up, we made 100,000 in eight months. Boom, I look up, we made 250,000 in 14 months. Boom, we look up, we made 17,000. In 17 months, we made half a million. Boom, I look up, 37 months, we made our first cash flow. Man, we haven't looked back after 2017, 2018, anything less than a cash flow million since then. We're doing a video right now, we're adding up, because Ivan has asked me, how much business have you actually put through PHP? You know what I added up to? The amount of business we have put through PHP since we started here, and the business that we bought when we got here, because we, we, we bought an agency, uh, an agency owners, they were retiring, so we bought their agency. We struck, the, by the way, we capitalized, right? So he decided to retire, we bought his code number. If you put together our production and that business code number, we've sold $71 million of life insurance since we got here in 2015. We've paid in commissions, $40 million in commissions to my guys who otherwise would be in a, a job that they hate in, in the unemployment line, taking money from the government, PPP loans, Section 8 housing, all this stuff. But no, they decided to come into our fold to learn a craft, to learn an industry, to learn a business. They learn on a part-time basis and their lives have changed. And I'm not stopping. <laughs> 